Right, what I'm going to talk about it is the uh, Hitchika uh, Random Orb Orbital Sander. It's the OS 300 watt model. Um, obviously comes with a three pin plug for us in Great Britain. So within the box, first of all, you get your set of instructions, quite clearly. Not hard to understand, there's only seven pages. Majority of it is about uh, the buttons on the actual machine and safety instructions. Then you get the model itself, 12 discs. You get the four 240 fine finish, four 120 medium, and four of the 80, which is coarse. Obviously got the holes at the end on the bottom, just position it over. It's actually quite a powerful model. I'll show you what I've done already. It took me about two, four, well, about five minutes to be fair. You've got your, um, your dust box at the back there. Um, it's, it's quite crude, um, but you can see where the dust, what I've been doing and where it stores in there. So it saves it going absolutely everywhere within the, um, wherever you're working, unless you, if you're inside, like I do a lot of work inside my shed, my, work, my workshop, um, saves the dust being blown everywhere. You have to tidy up afterwards. Right, you've got on and off button on the front of the, the uh, model there. I, I would have heard it somewhere else, but obviously you can hold it and use it with your left hand. And there's your 300 watt motor. On the side there, you've got six settings. Let's just turn it off. Six settings there, so you can actually increase the speed, control your speed, depending on what you're actually doing. So I actually love this. It's actually um, quite powerful for what I need and what I do. Um, this is a draw I did yes I was, I was you know that's how this started off in a few minutes and I mean a few minutes two or three minutes that's when it's come through so I've got to do a fair bit more because obviously I stained it a long time ago with some black paint um, so I'm going to sand that a bit more out on there but that is ideal after that I can just finish it off and I'm going to give me a really nice clean finish um, it's quite impressive if they're not expensive tools um, they're designed really to be throwaway tools so you're not going to keep this for years and years and years um, it depends on how much you use it because I'm only going to use it on various items the price point suits me a, a treat if I was using it every day obviously I'd go for the uh, you know a top end market get a bit more of a powerful model but this is fantastic for the handyman it's just as good as what you can buy from any DIY shop um, you know their home brand models so you know you get your guarantee your warranty there you are